What's up guys, Irregular GFX here with another tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to do 3D text in uh, Photoshop. Um, I believe this 3D text only works in Photoshop CS5, um, but for people who have lower versions, I'm sure, it probably, I'm sure it's in there. You probably have to look for it pretty well. So right now I'm going to show you guys. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to have your text object. So basically just go to the text tool, click and click anywhere on the screen, type in what you need. And then um, from there, what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to 3D. And this is called Repose, I think. And so click Text Layer. It's going to ask you that, that you need to rasterize text layer. Just so click Yes. And then you're gonna get this little pop up window. Now, here's where the 3D text comes in. Oh, oh, oh. something on my Skype just happened. Okay, well, um, what you're gonna do now is just gonna click anywhere. Um, and notice how you kind of see the 3D, but you can't really see it. All you do is right here, just click and move, and voila, there is your 3D. Um, I guess the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because um, a friend of mine, Sergeant Sprinkles, um, had a problem with his Cinema 4D and asked me what the problem was. I didn't know. I think it's because he says he's on Windows XP and Max has his little thing with Windows XP and it's not working well. So this tutorial is, I guess, uh, dedicated to you, dude. So, um... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm really tired. Uh, so here in this little window, you have all the different options. There's like this extruded type. There's a uh, extruded. There's indented caps. There's extruded caps, which is just the same thing. There's bubbled. Uh, actually, it's kind of like yeah, it's kind of bubbled. And there's a cone type thing, which actually turns them into pillows. Like, if you actually look at it, they look like little pillows. Um, basically what this does it just same thing as this just on both sides that's all it is uh, here it's a really indented nice shadowy type uh, how am I this straight again This is super extruded. Um, this actually works pretty well because sometimes if you don't look at it right, it kind of looks like uh, it's coming out instead of going backwards. Uh, there is really far back text, which is kind of like that retro stuff. It's kind of core screwed, it's kind of cool. Major core screw, ultra core corkscrew, um, uh, and then there's a uh, there's curves, there's just like simple curves. There is undone under curve, kind of like splits them. There's super curve, which splits even further, kind of mirrors them. And there's ultra curve, which is just separates them both. And yeah, then there's Pac Man. Text on the inside, and there's the uh, halfway done atomic sign, I guess. Yeah, and that's all you have for the t uh, shape presets. Now you can edit these and the uh, extrude things. Um, also, you, you have your materials here. But you can change the materials, different colors, and stuff. And it actually tells you what it is front back right here the bevels which is right, right there and stuff so that's basically what you have to work with um oh crap what did you um no what the hell right click head and reduce rotate Alright, 
So, um, yeah. So here's your text. Um, now it's 3D. You see it perfectly fine. And what you can do with this is you can, uh, you can transform it in different things. Also, right here, before you, I guess, rasterize it once more time or convert it back into a smart object, if you want to go back and edit way the way it looks, just right click, duplicate the layer, or you can just go back into the same steps again text and then 3D reproduce and text layer. Your choice, doesn't really matter. Um, and, um, yeah, so this is a tutorial, and um, if you guys have any work that you want to show me uh, that you've done using this tool, feel free to send it to me by mega, by mega upload, grab a chair, doesn't matter, um, or even Skype. If you have a Skype, add me. Um, okay, my screen's going black. Uh, add me on Skype. Or send me a message and um, I'll give you my Skype name. Probably I'm going to put my Skype name in my bio on my page. So if you want to Skype me, go to my page, look on my bio. It's going to be right under my gamer tags and stuff, where it has my gamer tag for Xbox. Look under there, you'll find my Skype name. Alright, guys, see you later.